That's that's okay. That's yeah. that. So uh, I think Joey should have first uh, recorded it. Yeah, okay. I'm trying to set up. I think. Okay. Mm. Uh, okay, uh, everyone, let's start the seminar. So today, it's our great honor to have Professor Zheng Yuwen uh, as our speaker. Uh, so I, I wanted to thank Zheng Yu, uh, especially because now it's a very late time for him. So it's 11.30 and uh, China now. Mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. So we, we really thank Zheng Yu for giving a talk at this kind of late time. Uh, so Zheng Yu is a professor at the Institute for Advanced Study in Tsinghua University in China. Uh, Zheng Yu has focused on HITC corporate for many years. Uh, he is especially well known for his theory of phase stream for doped antiferromagnetism in the context of other doped corporate. Uh, today, uh, Zheng Yu will tell us the recent development in this direction. Uh, Zheng Yu, please. Okay, thank you very much, Yahui and uh, Juven, for inviting me to this uh, very wonderful uh, HITC series. And uh, uh, I'm very glad to have this opportunity uh, to present uh, the point of view from my angle, uh, understanding of the cuprate physics. So the title of my talk today uh, is Organizing Principle of Modulus and the Complex Phenomenon in HITC uh, High Temperature Superconductors. So uh, many speakers in this series have uh, discussed the bridge phenomenon in the uh, phase diagram of uh, uh, HTC cuprates. And uh, the uh, well, one important uh, concept uh, is uh, the intertwined order or competing orders uh, to uh, characterize uh, uh, various uh, subtle phases, which change maybe slightly change of doping concentration or temperature. Uh, so, uh, uh, you know, uh, how to understand uh, this richness uh, is a focus of the whole community. And but today, I wish to present a story uh, which actually from a different angle, uh, maybe slightly off the mainstream. And so I will take the uh, point of view that all the important correlations, uh, the quantum entanglements, uh, actually all embedded in the ground state. So it's like a, uh, it's, it's like a bottom up picture where uh, parent state uh, actually uh, with uh, hidden waters are in the ground state. And uh, for example, yeah, the, uh, the anti ferromagnetic state, uh, the superconducting state in this sense, a lot simply uh, Landau, uh, in the Landau paradigm, in the sense that uh, the order parameter themselves will not decide the physics uh, completely. And uh, there is a hidden structure which are controlled by uh, many body quantum mechanics uh, not simply by uh, Jisper Langdao type of uh, uh, semi-classical description, but with uh, uh, important uh, quantum uh, effect there. Uh, from here, uh, uh, the uh, high te higher temperature, like a pseudo gap or strange metal uh, phases may be uh, due to a melting of superconducting phase coherence or, or other hidden orders. Uh, or partial rigidity uh, hidden in the ground state. Uh, the uh, con basic construction uh, from uh, in this uh, 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 direction uh, is based on an uh, uh, organizing principle uh, due to the modulus, which I will explain uh, shortly. And uh, uh, we basically it says that uh, there's a long range spin charge entanglement uh, in such a system. Uh, for example, if uh, uh, you have a long range order and uh, then the, the charge cannot form the uh, superconducting phase coherence. On the other hand, if you are in the superconducting phase, then the this, this spin uh, cannot form a 
actually uh, manage the order, a large or commentary uh, manage the order, and it's uh, naturally the spin liquid or RVB state. So in, in this sense, RVB is not a um, parent state, it's more like a, a emerging state coexistence with superconductivity. Um, so in the uh, conventional condensed matter physics, uh, the, uh, there are some general organizing principles like uh, spontaneous symmetry breaking, it's a Landau paradigm, and uh, adiabatic uh, continuity and realization, which are the uh, basis for like uh, Fermi liquid theory. And uh, another important, uh, uh, the uh, essential uh, organizing principle actually is related to size structure of wave function like fermions or bosons. But normally in the weak coupling case, um, these are, uh, it seems to be predetermined. You, you don't change fermion to boson or boson fermion. So people seldom discuss uh, sign structure, but I'm going to uh, try to convince you that uh, uh, in a mouth, uh, mouth system, uh, actually there's a new organizing uh, principle uh, emerge because the sign structure will be changed by interaction. In other words, the familiar uh, fermion sign structure can be completely changed by the uh, uh, opening the mouth gap uh, due to the emergent novel uh, many body version of birth phase. Uh, that's the, uh, uh, the, uh, the issue I uh, first address in my following talk. Uh, so I will start from uh, the, uh, the well-known uh, TJ or Harbor model. Uh, here I just focus on, I mainly focus on the, uh, the helping with the nearest neighbor side. Uh, the result can be uh, easily generalized to next year's, with including the next year's neighbor helping. And in such a model, uh, the, uh, the most essential uh, feature is that the Hilbert space is uh, constrained by the uh, on-site low double occupancy constraint and uh, due to a strong uh, on-site current repulsion. And uh, this has, this importance of this constraint has been realized, have been uh, emphasized uh, from the first day when Phil Anderson proposed the RVB state for the Kubrick. He used the Kuzvita projection to uh, uh, project out the, uh, all the double occupied sites from uh, mean field ansatz uh, of local effective harm to like BCS or uh, from liquid. And uh, this is like an on-site uh, constraint. And uh, so the, for one side, this is uh, of course constraints uh, uh, completely dominant. And later on, uh, more sophisticated people uh, know um, Look at the two side, uh, like a hole and the spin. And so, so the helping process, the hole jump to the spin side, spin will be transferred back. And uh, then uh, to maintain this constraint, uh, there's a current conservation. There's a, so the constraint on current, uh, so the charge and spin will have a part, this is particle current, will have opposite direction, which uh, normally is uh, um, if, uh, enforced by uh, U1 or SU2 gauge theories, uh, like a slave boson uh, scheme. Okay, these uh, uh, now uh, after 30 years have become a, a whole industry of uh, a gauge theory description of the system. A lot of uh, very important work have been developed uh, along this line. And so, uh, so the uh, uh, the question I want to ask is uh, that this uh, uh, on-site uh, no double occupancy constraint, uh, when you have, uh, uh, which is uh, very crucial, but when you have an uh, on-site uh, spin hole uh, uh, system, uh, especially N can take it to a thermal dynamic limit, right? Very large. Then how such a, a constraint can self-consistently evolve with this many body uh, spin hole configuration to, uh, uh, to develop the uh, 
quantum entanglement or quantum correlations. And uh, so it will be very uh, sensible to explore such a, a, a question because of uh, you know, the and it's large and uh, uh, how the, uh, this constraint will evolve. And let's recall that in a weak coupling case, okay, uh, you have many uh, electrons. We know that uh, the fermion uh, statistical fermion sign is a way to organize uh, these many body uh, systems. Uh, for example, if I uh, use the Harper model, I take u equal to zero, there's a Fermi ga gas. So, Bit where I can write down partition function, which will be sum up all the, the because the chart particles will go close loop. So you, you just sum up all the weight uh, with the positive weight for each uh, kind of multi particle uh, the loops. Uh, but there's a, a topological phase factor in front, which you, uh, the size is determined by permutation among this, uh, um, the, this identical particles, fermions. And uh, so uh, NEX will be the, the total number of exchange uh, of different uh, uh, among these uh, word lines uh, where uh, this is a fermion sign. Uh, we are very familiar with, which will of course cause also problem when you turn on interaction with sign problem in the numerical quantum Monte Carlo calculation. But long, uh, generally, this fermion sign is pretty much understood. Now, if I uh, start from uh, Harper model and turn on U, I stay at half feeling. If U is very big, so you, you, you basically project uh, no, uh, all the double occupants side. And uh, you can write down the partition function again, but now you find that uh, the, uh, this, only the sector with, uh, uh, with a positive sign will be left. All the other uh, those, uh, sign change sector will be projected out simply because the, uh, the exchange of two identical fermions uh, will allow to enter real physical processes is limit, which is the one which is basically described by Heisenberg model. Okay. So this is a, 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 a extreme limit to show that the mouth physics can change the statistics completely. Now you can wonder uh, if I uh, make doping to such a system, and uh, uh, this sign should come back again. But this sign generally should be different from Fermi's sign as long as doping is not that high, right? So generally you would expect a new sign structure would emerge the partition function. And uh, in such a sense, uh, models will change the Fermi statistics sign structure, uh, the large U limit or the TJ model. Um, so in the following, uh, let me uh, show you an uh, example. Okay, uh, uh, say we took one hole in such a system, a TJ model, and then you 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 write down the partition function, and uh, then you can make high temperature series expansion, uh, beta. You make Taylor expansion and uh, carry out formally the uh, trace, and you end up the summation will all close loop of spin and the uh, hole, the hole, and uh, you get the weight, the, the, uh, uh, the weight uh, function, which uh, decides by T over J and the beta J and the uh, MH is a number of a hole helping uh, here. So it's positive weight, but then indeed there's a sign uh, come out. And this is a closed loop. So basically it's like a barrier face. Uh, it's uh, composed of uh, 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 product of minus positive sign. Uh, we call it uh, phase string uh, signs because it looks like string associated with each part of the whole. Now, uh, the uh, sign, uh, minus a po a positive sign here, actually decided by uh, the microscopic process when whole is at this uh, giving. Uh, link and uh, 
it will ex, uh, exchange with uh, spin. And uh, because this SU2 rotational uh, symmetry uh, system, so we always keep SZ as quantized uh, axis. Uh, so we can decide up, down, spin. And uh, there, uh, in this expression, it shows that there must be a sign difference between up and down. Uh, of course, by part lattice, you, you can associate, uh, uh, doesn't matter whether you up, it's up uh, positive or uh, up is negative, but we just make sure they are opposite signs. And uh, so therefore, uh, it shows that uh, for such a system, for one hole, for arbitrary temperature, and uh, the hole has a memory of uh, its microscopical you know, process, you know, each step, whether you exchange up or down, so you will uh, have such a sign structure. And uh, then you, you compare this with a slave particle scheme where uh, you know, when you focus on two sides, right? right? And uh, uh, so there's uh, no such sign and uh, you uh, make sure that uh, the current, the particle current should be opposite. And uh, here it turns out because, because the compensation of two opposite sign for up and down spin. So the backflow must be a spin current, which uh, actually, uh, uh, conserves the SZ. So this is a, a special, there's three direction. This is, a, we always take SZ as quantization uh, axis. So, uh, so you have spin current, the back. Uh, and this implies that um, in such an even one hole case, this, the, the doped hole and the background spin will always have uh, this uh, long trivial, long range, uh, spin uh, charge entanglement. For example, if the, uh, the spin flip, if up become down, then the total sign will be, be, uh, be changed if whole going through this particular path. So you will see this long range uh, interaction or long range correlation between them. And it happened, it actually, it uh, holds true for arbitrary temperature. So, uh, so this is like a statistical sign, uh, independent of temperature. And also uh, it's quite singular because plus minus sign. So you, there's no classical limit and uh, because you cannot smoothize it. And therefore this is a highly quantum uh, effect uh, for single hole. Okay. And, now you, you, of course, we are interested in finite doping. So you can do the same thing for any arbitrary doping of holes and do the, uh, uh, the similar, uh, uh, using a similar procedure. And uh, what you, this is a weight uh, function similar to one hole, but now the weight is multiple, you know, uh, step of holes here. But the tau C now slightly changed because now you involve uh, many holes, like this configuration, then single hole will go around this, pick up a similar sign, which is just total number of down spin exchange with a hole and beside uh, the, the minus or positive sign here, given the parity of it. But now we, uh, you have an extra you know, uh, term, which related if these two hole uh, as identical particle, if these, exchange will give minus one. So this is like some kind of, uh, this is like fermion sign of we are familiar with, but only now, now it's only associated with hole, not with uh, the background spins, okay. So it's much reduced at small doping as compared to the original fermion sign. But last, uh, this is something we are familiar with. So this is for TGA model. And uh, this is true for actually the proofs for arbitrary doping temperature and dimensions, uh, okay. And um, now that, let's go further uh, for the Harper model. And for the Harper model, uh, now we have to include the double occupied side. So it's called Dublin uh, denoted by this uh, red circle. Okay, and uh, so you can create a whole long Dublin uh, pair and then annihilate uh, in other places. Then during the process, you found that the whole long or double long will pick up the same 
kind of phase string we have seen for TJ model. So when you write down partition function, it composes uh, two copies of phase string. And uh, this is uh, for exchange between the whole and the whole line and double line. So you see that uh, for this for arbitrary u, but for small u, uh, the whole line double line uh, proliferate. And if it's better for you to switch back to electron, uh, electron coordinates, you found that total sign actually uh, is the fermion sign. Uh, it's the same. But for large U case, and uh, uh, if you have on the whole dope side, you found that once you open a mod gap, the double one will be suppressed and this phase will reduce to the phase you we just seen. Uh, of course, Dublin's uh, okay, uh, uh, the symmetrical, you know, uh, to the whole line and electron dope and the whole dope, this symmetric okay, Harper model. And therefore, uh, you've, you found that the, uh, the modulus, uh, this is, is uh, once you open the mod gap, uh, the fermion sign structure will from really is. Uh, uh, is essentially changed to the phase three uh, sign structure uh, we have seen in the uh, TJ uh, case. Uh, Can I ask therefore, a question? Oh yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so in the previous slide, you seem to be doing an, an expansion in T over J. Is that correct? In the uh, uh, no, I, uh, what I did here is uh, actually uh, uh, high temperature expansion. I expand things with beta. Oh, uh, so, uh, so, so, uh, yeah. So, uh, and uh, you will be dimensional as T over J and uh, also beta multiplied J. So, this is just four more uh, expansion. I see. Um, so, the assumption is that T is much bigger than uh, temperature is much bigger than uh, what, what is it? What's the expansion parameter? Oh, oh no, there's no, I just do four more, uh, you know, uh, parallel expansion for arbitrary beta, I just assume it converge, right? And okay. uh, then you, you end up with this uh, sign structure for each term. Okay. Right. And so this also include the uh, spin flip because the Heisenberg- Yeah, all the, all the term. So, so the, uh, uh, yeah, the, uh, the MH uh, here, I, uh, yeah, include also the uh, spin flip here, but spin flip will not contribute to sign change. Like the Heisenberg model at half leading, right? There's no yeah. sign, uh, from your sign is gone. Uh, mm -hmm. There's no contribution from the flip. Yeah, so the basically you just make this expansion. So there's a, uh, you formally just carry out this trace. That's all you have done. Okay. Can I also ask a question? These, uh, yeah, sure. these strings, could they uh, also lead to confinement of uh, one hole or maybe contribute to confinement? Oh, yeah. This, that's all. I will get to that uh, later. Yeah. I will show you some numerical result of uh, the for one hole. Uh, I think you have done uh, work. You say if there's only SZ string, well, definitely there's a confinement, right? But for uh, for the uh, now the, uh, this string uh, this is signed uh, more like a transfer string, okay, and uh, which will need uh, incoherence. So they will not lead to a lot of things for the whole. Uh, I will come to that point probably just a, a few slides from here. Okay. 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 Uh, Excuse me. Okay. I have, I have yeah. a question. It's a. Uh, oh, Xiao hey. So when you when you when the whole hoppings, the spin uh, background changes. So oh, if yeah. you if you also switch spin to make spin yeah. go back to the original background, uh, do you still have a face? Oh yeah, uh, you you it, it's uh, you are quite right. So the trace here means that the initial and final state must be the same. Include both the uh, spin and the uh, the whole configuration, right? So okay. you must to come back and uh, uh, then you end up with the weight for each pass, but you end up that something is uh, left, this uh, string is left there. Yes, but the, so the like, face description mm. you have is uh, really yeah. for the, when the whole exchange with down spin, there is a minus one. Right, that's right. In this uh, case, uh, the spin configuration changes. 
And then you, uh, whether exchanging up spin, mm. down spin, do you have additional phase? Oh, no, no, that's that's oh, that's the thing. You know, the, this is the half feeling uh, you see here. Uh, this, uh, the Heisman model, you don't have any sign come out the, when oh, you okay. have spin flip. Yeah. And uh, yeah. so, okay. Yeah. So the SE string uh, can be, uh, should be uh, repaired uh, through spin flip when you hope okay. go back. But uh, the, this size of Crispin transfers part, which is uh, left uh, behind. Okay, yeah, thank you. Yeah, that's okay. a bad sign here. Yeah. Uh, okay, so uh, uh, what I showed you uh, here is that uh, under such a uh, constraint uh, for the TGA model, uh, actually the fermion sign is uh, drastically changed, uh, like Heisenberg model at half feeling. Uh, if bipart lattice, you don't have any sign. Of course, if it's not bipart lattice, you have some extra sign come out from geometry, which is geometric very face, you know, uh, the frustration. But here, uh, what I showed you is that um, uh, the whole dope will introduce another uh, sign, which uh, you know, involves this uh, exchange uh, between hole and the spin. And uh, there's a uh, corollary here is that the, all the trouble we'll see is from here, this is the sign, because of fermion signs we are familiar with. So if you want to get rid of this sign, that's fine. You, you, then you can get some model with only the, uh, the, uh, uh, the uh, exchange sign of between holes and uh, the weight. Uh, the only thing you can do, uh, you, 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 you need to do is just make a, a sign, spin dependent sign in, front, in the helping term. So we call this a sigma TJ, and then you end up the same WC, the weight, but without fermion sign. So these two models, of course, this model doesn't change the super exchange term, but uh, well, uh, make a translation, no rotational symmetry uh, is uh, not there. Only SZ is still uh, conserved, but uh, XY is not there. And, uh, but numerically, you can study these two models. This is for arbitrary size, so you, uh, you're always there. So you, you can uh, study it by TJ and Sigma TJ, you uh, give your DMRG calculation, and you, you would precisely know what's the effect of this uh, uh, size structure. Okay. Uh, so uh, uh, many people believe that the one band Harvard model, TJ model may capture the uh, the main physics uh, or key physics in the count in the high DC cuprates. Uh, I uh, what I just showed you is that uh, under a constraint or open uh, the mark gap. Uh, actually, the uh, the uh, important thing uh, probably uh, uh, important is that uh, the fermion statistical is fundamentally changed by to into this uh, uh, string like uh, you know sign structure. So the question will be, what's the consequence of it, which is protected by the mod gap. So we, we think this is the modness. Uh, uh, okay. uh, so in the following, let me uh, I'll show you examples by the Merkel calculation, a few examples by compare, uh, study these two models comparatively, like a one hole in a square lattice uh, uh, but you can only do finite size, uh, small size, right? And but uh, for the, uh, uh, you can also cut uh, into a ladder, one one leg or two leg ladder, three leg ladder, four leg ladder, and by make ladder very long, but put one hole, two hole, or finite dope in there to study them. Okay, uh, this work uh, more, more all done by these uh, uh, brilliant um, collaborators of mine. Uh, former students of mine and uh, collaborators. Uh, so uh, I will first uh, show you a result for a familiar cases, one hole for four, uh, uh, in square lattice. Uh, we all familiar with this four by four result, exact diagonalization. It tells us there's a four uh, ground state degeneracy uh, for one hole and so we, with total momentum pi over two, pi over two and the other symmetric points, okay, for periodic bundle condition. But as I mentioned that uh, the whole Hawking actually will pick up this uh, sign structure from background, 
which means there's a backflow spin current. And I can define the helping the current, spin current, a helping term and the super exchange term. And this is a, just a, a charge how, a current. These two current together, spin current will be conserved, okay? Turns out there's a surprise. Nobody has looked at this before. Turns out that in the background, you do see a spin current in the background. Of course, when you uh, study sigma TGA, it will turn off, then, then everything's gone. Everything's gone. But also the, uh, uh, the, uh, the four degeneracy is gone, only one point uh, for long degenerate momentum at the zero or pi pi uh, uh, symmetric point. Uh, to see this more clearly, uh, let's look at a case where you have open boundary conditions, so we can make it a larger size. Okay, this is four by four. Turns out that these are two uh, degenerate ground state with character of two kind of spin patterns, and also charge will also have current background. And turns out that there's a novel uh, quantum number, which is the angular momentum goes to plus or minus one. Besides, a, there's a spin, extra spin, uh, SZ half uh, plus or minus half. So, uh, so, so, so in addition, you have a, a, a two a double degeneracy. And if you use a, D, a DMRG, then you can go up a uh, larger size, six by six and eight by eight. Turn, turns out the current is still there, a spin current and a charge current, each have two configuration. And uh, actual, uh, actually, this uh, actual momentum is still there at plus minus one. So this this is something uh, highly non-trivial. Okay. Now I've put two holes in such system. Turns out the current is gone, canceled, and uh, the total actual momentum, however, is two. It's like a D wave. Uh, uh, you can think of it uh, carefully. And if you put a three hole and the, uh, then the spin current and charge current come back again with LD to plus or minus one. Uh, so the, uh, this is uh, for the case where you, you have to study the, uh, the ground state uh, uh, yeah, yeah, complex uh, you know, uh, wave function. But you, uh, because of double degeneracy, you can also, uh, make a superposition to make a zero current state. First, so once you have zero current state, you must have charge or spin modulation. It's tiny, but it's still there. You see, this is the charge modulation uh, distribution and the spin distribution, you do see a modulation here. Or even you can make a stripe or pneumatic. So let the current flow one direction, then the uh, perpendicular direction, you have a modulation. So in, Simple one hole case because this sense structure, uh, there's an incipient translational symmetry breaking. Uh, this is the intrinsic one. But if you turn off the phase screen, like you uh, study sigma TJ, now everything's gone. As I mentioned, like a periodic bound condition for such an open bound condition, everything's gone and you get a long degenerate ground state. Okay, uh, uh, this is for. Uh, 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 a smaller size uh, uh, two dimension case. And let me show you another example. It's one hole for ladder, like two leg ladder, but very long, like a 200. Uh, this is a real wave function. You will get the module charge modulation again on top of uh, uh, a smooth background. And if you look carefully about modulation, you look at the momentum distribution, turns out there's a two sharp peak at the ky equal to zero, and I, Kx uh, plus some broad feature. So like uh, incoherent, you know, a lot of momentum. And uh, if you look at the uh, Ky pi, the, the sharp peak is gone, uh, you get uh, all the broad feature. And uh, actually uh, you have studied the quasi particle with ZK, which correspond to precisely this two sharp peak. And uh, it's uh, for large size, some of that is still there. But however, this is a uh, strange because you have quasi particle weight, but together you have this board feature. If I switch uh, to a, a periodic boundary condition along the, the, uh, the ladder direction, then I can show that uh, the, you can define total momentum for, for one peak here. And uh, 
But background scale there turns out that the whole will associate the spin current, which contributes to this background, similar to uh, a square lattice case. So in uh, in this latter case, it's uh, 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 the uh, quasi particle and the incoherent part seems a, a, a two component structure uh, uh, in the ground state. And uh, if you, you can further introduce an anisotropy because say alpha t, alpha j to make alpha very small, so the wrong term very strong. And uh, somehow you can tune this Q naught, this wave vector for the oscillation to zero. And in this regime, small alpha regime, you see you, this uh, uh, modulation is gone and you find the quantization become another non-degenerate, uh, uh, only one peak, which closely follow the quantization of a plane wave within a box. This is a scaling rule. Actually, examine carefully, you found that this hole will always bound to a partner here to so tightly bound such that the phase stream will be screened out and they always pick up the same sign. The backflow will be the same. So there's no Fermi sign, uh, Fermi sign and uh, that tells you, uh, uh, sorry, phase stream sign and uh, it tells you that there's an emergent quasi-particle broker wave in this limit. Uh, uh, we can also turn off the, uh, the, uh, the uh, phase stream uh, Boot force by using sigma TJ, you get a similar thing. You get a smooth profile of charge and the momentum quantization. So we see that, uh, yeah, indeed, the, uh, the, 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 this sequence of sign uh, really plays a key role uh, in a two leg ladder. But even for one uh, dimensional case, for finite size and the whole move, also will create this, this backflow current if j over t is not very large. So you do have spin charge separation here. You have two different kinds of current. Of course, for finite size, when j over t is big, they recombine to quasi particle. And such that, for, for example, the number uh, size is 10, and uh, large j over t, you get a long degenerate ground state with a spin charge recombination. Then a, lot, a small j over t, you get a double degenerate ground state, but with total momentum change. So there's a quantum uh, phase transition here for one hole. Of course, uh, for different sides, it will be different, okay, the, the critical point. But if you turn off phase stream, the whole regime of j over t, you get long degenerate ground state, which is uh, similar to this uh, charge spin recombination case. If you use a uh, uh, bipartite entanglement or calculation over J over T, you do not see difference because T, uh, Tj and sigma Tj. But uh, if you use, introduce a spin charge mutual entanglement, I introduce a squeeze spin chain, I won't get into detail. You do, uh, then you find that this entropy do show uh, the quantum phase transition at the crazy point and eventually vanish the you know, spin charge separation limit will turn to zero. But sigma TJ will not show such a transition and uh, get, get opposite the behavior, uh, you know, behavior in the small j over t uh, direction. So what I have showed you here uh, for various uh, finite size system, uh, uh, because of the existence of this uh, spin current, the backflow, uh, the, uh, the, the host motion is drastically uh, changed. The Landau, the Broca wave, uh, like uh, quasi particle behavior uh, is changed. And uh, so generally, uh, because we were doped the uh, uh, singlet background or spin background, uh, which is not in favor of spin current. So the whole motion is very hard uh, to help in this uh, anti-firm background. So in order for her to move and uh, uh, the, the economical ways that for this backflow up, uh, differential up and down to make uh, this uh, because they are conserved particles. So they have to make this uh, five mass low time picture with up and down, up the way. So they do not cancel to facilitate 
the helping are whole. Otherwise, it's very hard for uh, for whole to help. This is, is is equivalent to say that the, the this there is a spin current circling around the hole in order to for it to hold. So generally, you would expect the bare particle will be dressed by a, a vortex, a spin current vortex. And so the broker wave uh, uh, hole will be changed to uh, the superposition of the linear superposition of C2, where the, uh, there's a phase which uh, is to be defined in the following view graph here. So uh, basically you can construct one whole ground state by uh, creating such a single hole in a, this is called RVB's background, is a half field background. And the, C, the phase here is defined in such a way that all down spin will have connect to, to I side by this uh, angle. Uh, Zi is complex angle. So there's an angle here. And uh, such that when the hole and the down spin and the slipper side exchange, uh, the angle will change by pi to give rise a minus sign. But since there's no up spin, so up spin exchange will give remains a positive. Such that the, the, this phase string sign will be eliminated so that this object will become mobile. And uh, here, the, uh, uh, the uh, RVB state is a half field spin uh, vacuum. And uh, so we can, uh, uh, version of, uh, using Monte Carlo, version of Monte Carlo decide phi H to minimize such a state, uh, which has been done by uh, my student, former student uh, collaborator. And uh, uh, I should note that the RVB state is a half field. I use uh, the Liang Dosu Anderson's uh, Bosonic RVB state, which is well known uh, to give a, a, a most accurate uh, virtual energy, and which basically can be regarded as a project uh, a state of uh, shrink boson mean field uh, you know, wave function. And uh, so uh, you only to need to virtually decide by this phi H, which generally will allow be a broker wave like. I should mention that the phase, the physical meaning of phase is very easy to, to determine that we, we, which will automatically indeed give you a total accurate momentum plus minus one. The reason is that when you dope the hole, there's a, also extra spin, unpaired spin. So the, uh, the total, they will, because of this phase, uh, totally they will give you, contribute this uh, longitudinal accurate mo momentum. And uh, so you can do a uh, version of Monte Carlo to decide. Uh, uh, okay, uh, to decide this uh, wave function. Uh, this green curve is just a conventional Broca wave. Uh, note that I haven't introduced any polar picture, like a you know self-consistent boron approximation can uh, well account for the uh, the boron, uh, which is rigid bound to particle. Uh, I just use a bare Broca wave, and then I use this wave function, but I uh, change phi H as a Broca wave uh, wave vector, slightly lower energy, but still fine. But the true variational energy is here, which actually uh, uh, correspond to wave function, which is not translational invariant. The reason is that in the background now you see uh, the hole will carry a, a, a spin uh, current around it, and uh, uh, the extra spin will uh, induce uh, uh, the mutual, the whole current around it. And uh, therefore, uh, in this version of scheme, it shows that the doped uh, hole uh, actually presents some spin charge separation or the composite structure where hole and the spin the, uh, actually will have a relative internal you no know, relative motion. So there's an internal degrees freedom, which is responsible for this uh, level uh, angular momentum associated with the one hole problem. And uh, uh, once you have C2, you find that the single particle propagator actually become quite coherent for C2, but still uh, it deviates from the plane wave 
uh, uh, in the large distance, as mentioned, the, the slightly uh, translational symmetry breaking. But if you look at the quasi particle, bare particle, because the phase is fluctuating strongly, but it decay faster. Uh, but still, you can calculate uh, the uh, quasi particle weight. Turns out the uh, finite size is still four peak at right at the pi over two, pi over two. That's uh, uh, already we know from exact diagonalization, all right, from your Merkel. Uh, you, you still have this ZK, but compared to uh, DMRG result, actually, version results actually agree with DMRG eight by eight quite well to ZK. And this is a momentum distribution function, also invisible agree. But as I mentioned, uh, we haven't included uh, the polar, the longitudinal polar effect, uh, which should be uh, should account for the, uh, the discrepancy, the slight discrepancy. But good thing about the variational calculations, you can go, go to higher, uh, larger sample size. Turns out uh, the ZK will be scaled to zero uh, powerly as a uh, function uh, length scale L. And uh, so uh, in this kind of description, and the quasi particle weight eventually will be gone. Okay, this is uh, a- uh, Just for clarification. So, so this yeah. variation of Monte Carlo is based on a um, spin liquid state? Oh, oh okay. Uh, actually based on the, uh, the, uh, uh, the uh, uh, the uh, the RVB, uh, both having RVB, the Liang Dosu and the Wei function, which okay. give the half field. So basically, if the final size is uh, there's a long range order, but this model is known to have a long range order when you uh, make a sample goes to infinity. Yeah. yeah. But, but we can artificially tune the, the weight WIG to make a short range. Uh, the yes. uh, result is uh, similar. Uh, go ahead. Right. So, 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 in this small, in this uh, wave function, then this for finite sizes basically has long range order. Then, uh, uh, that's true. But uh, as I said, I uh, if I don't use this uh, uh, power law decay, I use uh, some short range one. Then, then you can make it finite size. You know, with short range correlation. Yeah. So my question is, like. calculation was that a short range or a long range? Uh, well, we, we did both. This uh, the result I present for, for is for the true, uh, for the true uh, long, uh, you know, half field. You know, long range. Okay. But by the way, yeah. But in short range, uh, you you get a similar result. Uh, okay. Probably the quantitatively there is a different uh, quantitative, uh, quantitative so, there are different. So this picture is there even for the long range order, essentially long range order. Uh, uh, well, uh, uh, there's a, a tricky thing about long range order. That's the, uh, what uh, Professor Komusti asked about the localization. Uh, actually, uh, uh, it should be localized, but you work with it, we cannot get uh, um, uh, yeah, the uh, so you once you uh, make the uh, background speed short range, then of course uh, it's global. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, mm. that will move. <clears throat> okay, uh, okay. Uh, similarly, we can work on uh, the one hole uh, uh, for two leg ladder. Your similar. Uh, version of wave function, uh, but uh, because it's uh, stretched, so it's stretched in uh, quasi one dimension. So the theta here is no longer necessarily uh, isotropic. You, you uh, put a parameter lambda here to stretch it, uh, to satisfy, still satisfy the same condition that the exchange a whole along x or y direction give you pi. So you have two parameters, one is the uh, wave function and lambda. And uh, versionally, uh, this is a versional result. This is a DMRG and uh, for uh, different alpha. As I mentioned, alpha is small, the anisotropy is strong. You get a smooth, uh, the quasi-particle uh, no profile. And uh, uh, then uh, uh, is, uh, isotropic limit, you get this modulation. And uh, the wave vector actually there's a transition here. And turn out it's uh, agree with uh, the DMRG result very well, uh, almost uh, same uh, with that. And also 
the momentum structure will have a, a split here. So it tells us that uh, this wave function with this non-local uh, the phase, uh, you cannot get a uh, pervasively really works uh, quite well uh, for this two like ladder. Uh, does it move? I don't know. It doesn't move. Okay. Uh, so uh, what I have just showed you is that um, when you dope uh, uh, the uh, uh, quantum spin background, either you have long range order or like latter case is just short range order. Uh, what we show is that uh, the the bro uh, the uh, actually the long dog uh, have quasi particle will be changed. So the bare particle will be changed uh, to have a phase fra fraction like this you call it. Okay, so C tilde will be mobile, but uh, omega i here act on the spin background will produce uh, uh, spin uh, you know, current, background current to facilitate its hopping. Well, the bear hole cannot move uh, uh, freely. So that's the uh, next, uh, let me uh, go to the uh, uh, case. Uh, well, well, you have two hole and uh, if you have two hole, um, oh, time's far. And, and, and uh, to, for ladder case, that's, uh, you know, two leg ladder, uh, Four leg ladder, you have a, you found a strong bending as function of t over j. Okay, uh, but if you use a sigma t j, turned out the 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 bending energy actually is gone for uh, for a finite uh, t over j Un unless uh, j is very large. Okay, uh, you would uh, like a three over t over j of three. Uh, the by finite size uh, extrapolation, you found bending energy is gone. So this is a very uh, surprising because the RBB picture basically super exchange term will provide the pairing, right? So you put one hole there, uh, then there's an extra spin unpaired. So you put two holes, this, pair, this spin will be gone, right? And uh, then it produces a, uh, but the TJ model we have shown is that you have additional this uh, two string. And uh, so two hole, uh, this two string, that's two spin current will be eliminated if background remains RVB. So this is something new. And so it's not directly by RVB, but enhanced uh, uh, by uh, background RVB will increase this backflow current to enhance the pairing here. Similarly, if you look at uh, 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 the uh, large u Hubbard model, for one hole, you do see the charge and the uh, spin modulation, but two hole, they will be erased and uh, uh, they, they form binding energy, uh, uh, they, they gain binding energy by, by erasing this modulation and spin fluctuation uh, gone. So this tells us the, the, the pairing mechanism really comes from the, uh, the, uh, the, the string uh, from here. Uh, so, uh, uh, Yeah, the, uh, oh, the time for, well, it's passed. So I, I will skip this. And uh, then you do, uh, look at the uh, two uh, finite doping for, t, for two like ladder. Uh, then you do see pair pair correlation becomes dominant and uh, uh, with uh, leading uh, combination, which is uh, lose the emery liquid for two leg and uh, for four leg as well. But you see MATJ, what you see is that this immediately the, the exponent of pairing becomes subleading. And uh, the leading term uh, is a single particle uh, propagator with exponent close to one, with a central charge close to two. So this is a case where the uh, doped hole from a small pocket, which is uh, decoupled from background. Okay, um, I, I should skip it. Uh, now they, uh, let me uh, make a conjecture for finite dope in the ground state. So as, I, as we have seen that uh, the, the unpaired hole will be renormalized into a particle, quasi particle C2. So when I find it doping, they will pair on the RVB background. And generally they will form a pair between the C2 
this is Cooper pair of quasi particle, but quasi particle is no longer Landau like. But this is the ground state uh, for the finite doping. Then you immediately find that uh, the uh, true supercondition order parameter will uh, be uh, proportional to this. Uh, uh, this pairing of C tilt, which decided by GIG as amplitude. But there's a phase part which act on the RVB background. So there's a phase part here, which will be decided by the, the RVB amplitude WIG here. So in the background, the spin form a single pair, but this pair now will carry a what, you know, the, like a spin, this is a rotan like a spin current uh, in the background. Like what has anti what has pair uh, because of this phase. So you will see that if really you have a long range order, then these two separation will be long and this phase fluctuation will strong, will suppress superconductivity. So self consistent in superconducting phase, uh, the, the spin uh, must be short range paired, it becomes spin liquid uh, in order to reach the phase coherence here. Therefore, uh, so there are two, already you see a uh, uh, composite structure in the wave function, uh, uh, the, the, the pieces like pairing of charge, doped charge and uh, the spin background with uh, uh, the uh, WIG. So there's a virtual vacuum of uh, uh, spin, uh, okay, and each, uh, every side, okay, just like a half feeling, which will become spin liquid. And so the, in this, uh, this uh, superconducting ground state, uh, you would have a, a, a several uh, elementary excitation. Why is that this RVB background, uh, uh, you can break up a pair, uh, single pair, you create a excitation here, which you uh, become S equal to uh, one spinoton versus mode. And, uh, Another thing is that you break up this fermion backflow C2 and uh, which actually uh, setting at the four point at half feeling, uh, one whole case as I showed you, and finally doping actually will become a pocket. Also setting at this, uh, this room boundary uh, uh, centered at the pi over two, pi over two, but it will gain a uh, gap because of the pairing here. And uh, so you see that both are short ranged both are gaps. And uh, then you ask uh, where's the, uh, if there's a, uh, the conventional Bokuri-Bof Landau quasi particle, which uh, uh, is uh, uh, related to the bare particle. And if, uh, if there's such an excitation like uh, in the short, uh, normal state, then you expect uh, by general argument, like topological, like Oshikawa's argument, it must have a large Fermi surface, right? The question is now is you have a two uh, processes. They were a lot of independent. You have the, uh, the, it will decay into this uh, fractionized, phase fractionized state. And uh, therefore they, they will have an interaction. The question is uh, if such an excitation will emerge from the, the within the gap of uh, the, the uh, this backflow current. And, uh, uh, in the following, uh, I will uh, uh, try to, uh, okay, very briefly uh, show you how uh, this will come out. Uh, so basically what happens is that uh, uh, for, the, uh, for this uh, uh, doped hole to decay into uh, the uh, true elementary acetation of C2, it will take time, right? So you, you use the equation motion, you will see uh, it will follow the uh, normal uh, both you both trans, uh, you know, propagator or uh, the uh, uh, Landau propagator before it, uh, it decay and the the uh, the coupling the decay rate the relative lambda with proportional doping multiplied j are very easy to uh, look at. Uh, so it's more like uh, the uh, uh, the, uh, the RPA procedure that you, you have a bare, uh, the original term is the fractional C2, the propagator, and then they will decay, recombine back to the uh, fermion particle. And uh, then you get the, the two component green function leaking term is uh, this uh, 
uh, you know, uh, S wave uh, this uh, uh, pocket thing, but then you have a uh, the uh, uh, emerging uh, quasi particle come out, and uh, uh, as done by my student, former student here. Uh, uh, turned out that uh, if you look at the normal state where superconducting gap is zero, so you have large Fermi surface. And uh, the, the, the green function tells you that uh, in the zero energy, uh, actually this will be truncated. Actually there's a Fermi arc come out, which is actually decided by this uh, uh, Fermi pocket here. The burden is yes, because of the phase fluctuation here. So there, there's always a burdenness which uh, in which this will, uh, the arc will emerge. And, uh, but when you turn on uh, the phase coherence such that the, the superconducting phase coherence theory will be reached. And then you find that uh, the, uh, the, the green function will, uh, there's a two gap structure will emerge uh, in the low energy. So for example, um, so this is for the, uh, uh, super, uh, long superconducting phase where uh, you, you, you get a different uh, uh, Fermi arc uh, because the large Fermi surface and the circle, the, the work cut, where the, uh, uh, because the poly, uh, uh, this is a field circle. So uh, dope electron as bare particle cannot decay within inside this circle because poly principle. And uh, so only decay outside, that's why the, the, the arc come out. And uh, this is a larger doping. But for a higher doping, actually the, the pocket become bigger, but this also become uh, enlarged because uh, there's a gap become increased. So the poly principle, the uh, getting weaker and weaker so that the emergence of, of the Fermi surface become larger and larger than over dope. And, uh, uh, if you look at the, uh, uh, so the uh, coherence of quasi particle is protected within this circle. Along this direction, the nodal direction, you will have a kink come out. And uh, uh, the uh, kink uh, momentum actually, uh, we make comparison with the experiment uh, done uh, systematically doping uh, uh, in, uh, in, uh, uh, in uh, 2212 by uh, Hong Kong's group. Uh, actually, the, the agreements are pretty good uh, for the momentum side. Uh, there's no thinking here because, so it's really decided by circle, the size of the circle. Okay. So uh, the, uh, uh, in this picture, what we have shown you is that uh, uh, the wave function, there are two elementary stations which is not BCS like the spin roton and the fermia, but uh, in the low energy, actually, both both, both non dual quasi particles uh, can emerge uh, eventually uh, uh, in uh, the superconducting phase. Uh, also, in a uh, uh, phase where uh, the uh, uh, the superconducting phase coherence is gone, and uh, which defines a uh, pseudo gap phase. I will come back to uh, this uh, in the following uh, graph. Um, any questions uh, here before I move on to the last part? Yeah, yeah, I have a question. Uh, so in this uh, 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 this uh, lower right corner, is this a spectral function from the uh, modeling calculation? Oh yeah, the, uh, okay. uh, the, that's right. Uh, this is uh, the uh, uh, spectral function AK omega. Uh, I see. So it looks like uh, the quasiparticle particle weight disappears uh, at uh, near this uh, anti-nodal region. Uh, oh, okay. Actually, it's weaker. Uh, uh, there's a, uh, uh, let me uh, find, uh, uh, let me show you a calculation. It's strange, it's, oh, uh, okay, so it's right here. So you look at, okay. Oh. You look at the quasi particle weight here and here. So uh, this anti-nodal regime, uh, the, uh, there is a strong doping dependence. So it's weak, but uh, it's still increased with doping. And uh, oh, the nodal regime is more or less cause this is uh, experimental data. This is a numerical uh, uh, calculation. Okay. 
So uh, uh, actually change with Stopi. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. so eventually the large firm services will be recovered. Yeah. Okay. So, so, so that means uh, if you do the tunneling, maybe there's no coherence peak near the antenna node. Near the gap. Uh, low. Oh, because yeah. Wait, uh, wait, is so suppressed. Yeah. Suppressed. Yeah, yeah. That's a uh, that's good question. Uh, so when you look at the actual, we are uh, we're doing still doing a calculation. You look at the uh, uh, STM actually uh, uh, to see quasi particle interference. Turns out uh, interference pattern only uh, strong uh, within the uh, the first. You know, I see. there's a kink here. It's uh, coincides with uh, with uh, the Fermi arc position. So outside, actually, interference is, is quite weak. I okay. See. Yeah. Okay. That's a good question. Yeah, thank you. Uh, okay. Uh, so uh, let me quickly uh, mention uh, some. Uh, I just show you the uh, general picture. So uh, there's some microscopical calculation uh, to deal with the, the size structure. Uh, uh, basically, we need a fractionalization to actually transformation. So uh, we haven't shown. Uh, I have just showed you that uh, the uh, quasi particle due to the backflow spin current uh, will fractionalize in this way, become C tilted. So there is a phase come out represent the, the relative motion and or, phase, uh, or the spin current loop. So if I have uh, uh, many holes, then you can, each hole will produce uh, such a phase shift. So you can uh, make such a phase shift in front of the wave function and to, to make C tube become back to C. And uh, then in front, you have a, a total phase, uh, like a, a, you know, a, a transform, a unitary transformation. And uh, then you can uh, uh, turn TJ model, uh, making this unitary transformation to another model where um, uh, you, you have some extra link variable. AS find not AH defined here. I will explain the meaning of it later. So you may, if you make this three phase link variable zero, then you find the model becomes sigma TJ, where we know there's no phase string. Okay. So in other words, this transformation precisely map the phase string sequence into three gauge field. Okay. And uh, uh, the meaning of the three gauge field is the following. So A is here, uh, actually is generated by spin in the background, B spin, each carry pi, so it's a cartoon picture here, each is a positive by little pi as seen by hola. But A H field is generated by hole at carry pi, but seen by spin now. And there's also uh, finals is just trivial, Pi flux per parquet. And uh, there are uh, U1 conserved particles, a whole long, uh, neutral spin on B, but there's also a backflow spin on A. This is both on this formula. I will explain to you uh, in the following. Uh, so, uh, the half filling or the vacuum will have uh, each side always have a boson, uh, B boson, the string boson, which form the RVB. You know, uh, wave function, but here in the final doping, because of this uh, uh, gauge field seen by the B, to make a uh, order parameters uh, will be changed for uh, shrink boson order parameters uh, by including this uh, the face link, uh, this uh, link variable here to make it a gauge invariant. So this is a new order parameter for the background, which will uh, turn uh, the system into a short range uh, RVB or spin liquid at finite doping. And uh, then the, when you create a, a C tilt on this uh, top of RVB, and uh, then you create a, a C tilt, which is uh, quite coherent. But uh, as I mentioned, it's not uh, entirely gauging uh, neutral because uh, uh, e this phase is, uh, uh, this phase is uh, gauge, uh, actually, uh, there's a gauge degree freedom. To make a C gauge neutral, uh, you have to include, in general, the whole line operator here. And uh, the low temperature is condensed, but it's always there. So separate these two things, the A will be the C tilt physics we have seen. You pair it up and see the finite, 
and to make a gauge environment. So the, the meaning, physical meaning of A dagger here is to uh, try to make, uh, neutralize the spin at the whole site. And uh, this way we can always maintain the background as uh, the RVB background. And, uh, and uh, so, uh, but also A dagger and uh, B dagger is different. This both of the fermion. But you see different gauge field. And uh, so uh, after this fractionalization, you end up from ground state, uh, which related to uh, the ground state I just discussed, is a three component. So you have two, two components, spin now, state of one, component whole long, and the whole long is condensed in the ground state, uh, spin now from bosonic RVB uh, here, and the backflow spin now is a fermion, like a BCS type of pairing, but it's neutral uh, as well. So uh, uh, the water plant is shown here. And the, so in the ground state, there are three hidden orders. Okay? These orders are important to suppress the additional U1 fluctuation. And uh, so, uh, which ensures that these three particles are really, uh, you know, what's the uh, U1's Higgs, uh, they are really uh, true quasi particle and uh, form uh, you know, this condensation uh, self-consistently. Of course, there's a projection operator to enforce the constraint I mentioned, like a hole and spin, but uh, uh, here we have an assumption that the additional constraint is no longer crucial, which just uh, 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 make a mean field realization of parameter. Um, but the most important is the size structure, uh, which is unique here. And uh, of course, then you have a ground state with a pairing state, which will lead to various uh, 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 high temperature state uh, by with the temperature. Uh, for example, if you want, uh, let's look at the TC here. And uh, the, uh, as I mentioned, hold on now, we'll see uh, as a carry chart, we'll see external magnetic field and uh, uh, internal uh, field carried by spin on the background. And they, uh, a dagger, uh, a dagger, a uh, uh, backflow the uh, uh, gap. So the U1, additional U1 is suppressed. So this is well defined. If the whole line can, if the form RVB back and pairing, then the whole line will condensed. And uh, you end up with this uh, uh, generalized ginsburg landau equation where this uh, background spin will contribute to this gauge field AS, which uh, uh, to, maintain the phase coherence uh, must form the, the, the bending. But you can also think of that uh, uh, the deconfined as uh, to have a spin down what has emerged. And uh, this uh, related to cheap vortices. This, this uh, not uh, like a KT transition where uh, the core will annihilate the ground state, but because now the core will have a spin down inside. So you always uh, there in the ground state, uh, but they were tightly bound to form a spin roton in the ground state. The superconducting phase is uh, the uh, excitation. Uh, okay, so uh, and, uh, we Mura pointed out uh, a long time ago that uh, actually runs mode in the neutron and uh, uh, the AIG channel Rama scattering uh, 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 actually will decide PC as some kind of uh, twin charge spin roton excitation. Uh, here our uh, uh, calculation shows that uh, similar to KT transformation, but decided by the core energy, actually uh, this uh, uh, spin roton excitation energy is a resonance mode and uh, indeed, well, uh, can decide uh, TC um, uh, assumed by this street line. And the data point is uh, from an experimental uh, reference peak point. Uh, kappa is uh, the calculated one. Uh, okay. Um, okay, I, sh I should mention that uh, uh, now, uh, since the whole and spin carries this mutual, uh, no, uh, gauge structure. And uh, so there's a mutual transaminant uh, interaction, which reflect, as I mentioned, this is just a phase three effect. Uh, 
uh, after the transformation. So there's a mutual transformation term. Uh, one prediction will be like uh, the, the, the uh, conductivity inverse is no longer like a uh, Yofi Lucky. Actually, uh, uh, the spin part will, have in, will be inverse. This is spin conductivity. So because the mutual duality here. So in other words, if you have long range order, so the conductivity of spin uh, diverges, then you find that the sigma minus one diverges, which is a uh, resistivity diverge. So the, this is a, a charge localization. Uh, uh, as uh, asked of, uh, uh, at the beginning of my talk, uh, you do see that in this theory, once you have long range order, the charge must be localized. On the other hand, uh, in the uh, uh, superconducting phase where this uh, one spin on are confined and with the runs mode is confined, such as the sigma s equal to zero, there's a, it's not a propagating mode. And uh, then post condensation hold on will decide the TC, uh, will decide the superconducting phase coherence to make uh, sigma diverged. Okay. Uh, uh, So, uh, so I, I have just showed you that uh, uh, the uh, the BCS, uh, uh, the uh, the superconducting ground state I construct uh, uh, before in terms of C cubed uh, pairing actually correspond to a fractionalized ground state with three species, and uh, then there are these red colored. Uh, uh, it shows that uh, the excitation is long pieces like, and the pieces broke both non-dual uh, quasi particles just emerging uh, with the gap of this uh, uh, gap excitation, which will be important uh, uh, to the uh, uh, high temperature phases. So uh, finally, let me uh, give you a, a picture to, to properly summarize. Uh, uh, so, uh, as I uh, showed in the first part that uh, the TGL Harbor model actually has such a, uh, the phase string sign structure change from fermion sign, which will lead to a uh, uh, new uh, parent state, which is uh, the, uh, uh, well, the, 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 the in front there's uh, such a, uh, this is a first quantization curve, this uh, uh, phase structure. And uh, in this uh, uh, ground state, the RVB uh, uh, state is a uh, uh, spin correlation lens in this uh, uh, RVB background will play a crucial role as functional doping uh, to the phase diagram. Well, uh, when the uh, Kasai goes to infinity in the long range order phase, and uh, uh, as described the Liang Dosu analysis of ground state uh, wave function, and uh, the whole will pick up this phase uh, will uh, have a long range quantum interference because of zero point motion to make a whole localized. And uh, only at finite doping and uh, uh, such a state uh, will be forced to become finite uh, uh, range, uh, the uh, ranged, uh, short ranged uh, spin liquid. So, so, so this is like spin liquid, uh, like emergent spin liquid uh, where in a low temperature, uh, you need a uh, additional confinement of the free spin excitation uh, to form the superconducting phase coherence. Uh, then in a, a higher uh, uh, doping, the, the, uh, the, with the decrease of this RVB uh, spin liquid order parameter, eventually you end up with a, a strange metal phase where basically it's purely wise. The spin will localize uh, just do uh, you know, uh, randomly, uh, like QE wise, then the whole still pick up this phase, but this phase become random. So whole basically will become uh, quite incoherent. This is uh, the strange metal regime. I, I probably don't have time to go to it detail. And uh, I, I also mentioned that uh, even in this case, you always can make a whole and spin tightly bound to, to pick up some coherent phase which is uh, where the uh, uh, quasi-particle emerges. 
uh, even though probability uh, the uh, the weight is small, but uh, because this whole regime so incoherent, so this is uh, will emerge at this uh, low temperature uh, regime, and uh, uh, this is the part uh, probably will not have time uh, to talk about. And uh, I I think I should uh, 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 already uh, go to the. Uh, and a half an hour, so I should stop here. And let me, uh, okay. So uh, the summary uh, is similar to what I just uh, uh, showed you in the pre previous uh, view graph, is that uh, the complex of cubes, uh we believe that is an emergent phenomena of strongly correlated due to models, and uh, there's a, New organizing principle from models which change the Fermi statistical to phase three size structure. And uh, I showed you the consequence of such a uh, uh, altered you know, the organizing principle leads to a novel ground state and uh, uh, also the uh, new elementary isolation, which will decide the, uh, the uh, uh, Higher temperature phases like lower fuel gap phase and other uh, uh, properties in the supercondensing phase. Uh, uh, thank you very much uh, for your attention. Uh, I uh, thanks, Jenny, for a very nice talk. Thank you. Yeah, so, uh, Patrick, you can ask the question. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, very nice uh, uh, talk. Thank you. Can, uh, can you go back to the slide where you discussed the um, Fermi arc? Oh. Yeah, it's about ten slides back. Yeah, uh... yeah. With the dash yellow circle. Yeah. There. Yeah, there. Here. Uh, okay. Yeah. Here. Yeah. So what is that dash yellow circle? Uh, okay, uh, the circle here, basically, uh, we have a, a backflow spin, uh, uh, the backflow uh, spin on excitation, which is uh, introduced by hole, will form pocket here, yeah, the, which is centered the, at the uh, pi of the pi right? Is that from the Fermi? Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, yellow circle you, you're talking about here, right? No, 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 this the dotted one, the big one. This one? No, the dotted. The dotted yeah, yellow circle. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this this is the, the circle here. Yeah. The Fermi pocket. Yeah, that's is uh, that the C tilde pocket? Yeah. Uh yes, it's still pocket, but it's gapped here. Uh, yeah. this is so, energy. Yeah, uh, it's right so here. Can you explain why uh, uh oh. it's incoherent? You you cannot there's no quasi particle way except for this uh oh the the reason uh, is uh, uh simple because uh, uh basically eight uh, this is a C tilt, right? Yeah. So when you probe it uh, 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 in terms of quasi particle, you have yeah. this phase, right? Yeah. This phase will broaden uh, things yeah. here. So we uh, use a uh, uh, no a philological way to make it a broaden. It generally is broadened. Yeah, but why is it sharp uh, at, on that one line? Oh, uh, uh, this is just an illustration. <laughs> And uh, you see, uh, this is not sharp, right? It's broadened. So the low energy, you will see uh, uh, the cut uh, here, right? And uh, so it's, uh, it's not sharp. And uh, here I just uh, to uh, illustrate the location of this board uh, here. Yeah, but you seem to show this uh, yellow and red patch along the diagonal, right? So. Is oh, that okay. Part of the calculation, or is oh, yeah, it... yeah, this is a calculation. That let me go to the next right here. So basically, uh, this uh, dotted circle, the yellow circle, marks the position uh, roughly the uh, the the pocket rotation, right? right. So and uh, inside this uh, pocket, uh, the the quasi particle uh, will not decay into a fractionalized particle, right? But outside, well, there's no poly. Principle to uh, to prevent them decay, so that's where the uh, this uh, this uh, arc come out, and uh, so you, you are along this direction. Of course, you you will see uh, uh, it ends up here, 
So along this direction, you, you see the, uh, this uh, uh, quasar particle dispersion will replace by the, the bottom one, the high energy one. But so, so this, uh, this, mm. this is like the original electron then? Uh, this is the original. This is, a, 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 this is just an illustration uh, mm -hmm. of position. This is the original calculation. Okay. And there's a uh, approximation, as I said, uh, uh, the broadening uh, we uh, introduce by hand, the, okay. the, the, the face, the, uh, because we, uh, uh, okay. we don't know how to calculate the reliability. Okay. So, so the face fluctuation, we, we put it by hand. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm. yeah, thank you. Thank you. Uh, Xiao Gang, you can ask the question. Yes, and uh, so uh, you uh, electron spectral or quasi particle spectral function calculation, you have a sharp feature and a broad uh, a broad feature. Uh, maybe mm -hmm. a few slides back. Uh, you just passing that slide. Okay, that's uh, uh, that's. Uh, just, uh, oh no no no! Follow. Uh, uh, oh yeah yeah this one. So. Oh okay here. Oh no. Before the, the that, following. before that, uh, I don't know which direction. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, yeah, this, yeah, this one, yeah, here. So there's yeah, a, here. The, 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 yeah, there's a, so there's a sharp one which I just asked, but there is also more Broad. high energy broader one. So I just wonder oh. whether there's a low energy one, high energy one, what their energy scale, whether the low energy one is controlled by the J and the high energy one is controlled by T, so whether there's such a distinction. Uh, Oh, okay. Um, so uh, uh, you are asking about uh, uh, the energy scale of uh, here. Of so basically kind of you have a pocket here, right? So this energy scale uh, decided by uh, doping and uh, 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 combination of T, yeah, or effective T. I see. Uh, so, so basically this is a backflow, now one whole hop, there's a spin backflow. Uh, there's a doping dependence of it. So when doping is small, the pocket is small and the energy also small, but with increased doping, the increase. But here, uh, it's not gap. It's just dispersion, right? Yeah, yeah. The high temperature, right? Yeah, but the energy scale is, can be very large. So I mean, near yeah. the zoom counter, is, is that the other J or other T? Uh, corner. Uh, so uh, basically, uh, it's decided by do doping multiplied J because this is uh, okay. uh, it's a, you have 40. So basically, it's below this dashed line. This is uh, where this uh, pocket uh, pocket will. Okay. Uh, so this start from here, right? You cannot see clearly, yeah. but start here from here. So basically, the, this dispersion uh, always below this. It's kind uh, of XJ or XP. Uh, that's uh, that's good question. Uh, let me see. Uh, yeah, you should. Uh, it's a combination. Okay. Uh, so basically, it's a doping uh, multiplied T, but the T is a renormalized okay, I see. T. Okay. I see. Yeah. But the, the, the high energy curve is the other T. I mean, the one with the. No, uh, oh, yeah. this this is just a, uh, okay. You can go very high, but yeah. basically, uh, as mentioned uh, here, uh, basically this pocket is right here. So, so this is delta uh, multiplied t effective, okay. but this is just a dispersion. You can make it. It's just a dispersion. The bandwidth, right? For the, uh, so my my po my point is that. Uh, uh, maybe when you try to show that there's a two feature, one is a broad mm. feature of energy order T. Then at the low energy, maybe there should mm. emerge in a sharp feature. And uh, maybe yeah. whose energy, maybe XJ or XT. Uh, maybe XT, right. by, by, by some mm. spin-on dynamics and things like that. Okay. Right, right, right. That's right. Uh, okay. Mm. Can I ask a question, please? Yes, sir. Uh, please. Yeah, uh, um, I want to ask uh, you once again, uh, 
but maybe uh, some simple interpretation of what's uh, in effect the mechanism of pairing. You finally got uh, this uh, pairing tendency and that's uh, essentially connected to uh, your strings. Can I simply understand it so that, for example, single hole uh, has certain structure of these strings, but two holes uh, modify this string structure so that it becomes yeah. actually better to have two yeah. holes instead of one. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Is it, is it really a simple physics? And oh, in other uh, words, actually, in other yeah, words yeah. Uh, what is actually uh, the main energy gain? Which, uh, okay, that's good. Uh, here, uh, yeah. So basically, if there's no such a string, uh, the energy gain would be eliminated this extra spin, right? This RVP picture, the paired, so you just annihilate a pair of uh, signal pairing. But now you have uh, this string, right? Sign uh, theory. So the two hole will create a two string, right? But if background remains a short range RVP paired or single paired, then the string will cancel out. So, yeah. so basically, strings, you can strings send out a string. Like, strings uh, of two holes kind of partially compensate uh, each other, yeah? yeah, yeah. The, the spin current, the backflow current will be compensate each other by making it a single okay. pairing. Uh, okay. Background. Uh, Okay, very good. That's actually yeah. the picture we had. Uh, even without strings, I was more or less same picture because one hole uh, leaves a string of wrong spins in antiferromagnetic background, but two holes, second hole maybe can repair the damage done by the first one. But you have yeah, it in exactly. a more sophisticated way, but uh, physics is somewhat similar. Yeah. Okay. Very yeah. good. Yeah, great. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Daniel, maybe I can comment. Now, I think the difference oh. may be that, uh, you know, the old picture of repair, it's uh, when there's a Heisenberg, uh, the flip part, repair the string. But yeah. I think to me what uh, Jane was saying is that his picture is a little different because the Heisenberg flip can repair the string, but he has something up on top, which is the sign, right. yeah. uh, which is not in the original picture. So he says that the sign is important, not just the repair. Oh, uh, Patrick, uh, uh, basically, you when your whole move the Heisenberg model, there are three kind of string, okay? Because you have a three component a direction of spin, right? Uh, normally, we look at uh, SZ. Uh, there's uh, this, uh, so that SZ string can be repaired by spin flip, right? But there's also XY component. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the uh, XY component uh, will have to be eliminated by pairing. Yeah. So that's basically saying, uh, so single hole, uh, this uh, uh, XY uh, string, uh, you cannot just erase it, which will turn this hole into a, uh, this is where this uh, uh, novel uh, aggregate momentum comes from the internal. Uh, you, you create a, a spin current around the hole. In the end. Uh, yeah. So this, this reminds me of a uh, you know, very early story of um, fermionic uh, hold, hold on picture, right? If the holes are fermions, then there's a gauge field which has mm -hmm. opposite sign on the opposite uh, sub lattice. And uh, that can yeah. lead to binding uh, again because the, uh, the whole, the, the uh, yeah. So is that the relationship between these two? Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't remember. Uh, let me see. Uh, uh, is that the uh, uh, A to A hopping or A? Uh, uh, a, a, a to B, yeah, B, a, 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 a B hopping. Yeah. yeah. So uh, basically, what uh, uh, the when you prove that sign structure uh, there, you you can use a, a simple way is the slave fermion, right? Mm -hmm. The uh, so basically you make a whole hop the fermion whole hop, and uh, you will create a. a uh, a string, yeah. And uh, so you're saying that uh, there, uh, the pairing would uh, also involve this string, transfer string. Uh, there's a gauge field, but yeah, maybe. There's a gauge, it's, yeah, it's a gauge field. Um, yeah, because I think uh, that is uh, the dominant uh, equal sub lattice hopping. Uh, sub lattice hopping, yeah. Uh, let me see. Um, uh, the uh, actually we did a calculation is that uh, we we put a next year slaver hopping, yeah. so that's the same sub hopping, yeah. and uh, this effect will be destroyed.
when uh -huh. we will make T pair large enough. I see. It uh, actually, uh, it's, uh, it's kind of uh, interesting here. So basically, uh, you, you put the T prime. Uh, oh, okay, this, uh, this will probably become strong. Uh, uh, okay, we make T prime large. Okay, this bending will eventually, there's a phase transition to back to a normal quasi particle. I see. With T prime and large. The reason is that the easier for hole, that's what you showed, right? Uh, before that, uh, T prime uh, helping will be easier for hole to move on anti yeah. and background. So it's a, that it's transition a, happens quite early for quite small T prime. Uh, 0. 0. 0. 0. You mean here, right? Yeah. Uh, oh, this, this is a model we, uh, uh, we make an additional assumption. We, we introduce a, a stagger. Uh, uh, Potential to each run, uh, so doesn't break translational, but make the 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 coherent the, this uh, quasi particle peak strongly interact with uh, the background, the incoherent background, so that the particle the uh, in this model will be localized in real space. Uh, uh, you know, well, you know, this is well localized for one yeah. hole, but then two holes they become delocalized and form a strong banding. So this this is a. Uh, kind of extreme limit to tell you that a single hole cannot help, but two holes, they pair up, then they can eat up all this, this string. They, they, they become mobile. Uh, this is the case. So then you introduce T prime. It shows that, uh, it, yeah, you are right. It's not that big. They actually destroy the effect. Actually, uh, uh, in the original pr proof of the partition function sign structure, T prime does introduce another Geometrical phase, you no, know, which uh, eventually will uh, will uh, destroy the uh, the the phase string effect. So effectively, it looks like uh, uh, the energy gain which you gain uh, for two holes is kind of kinetic energy. Effectively. Oh, uh, in it's this case, uh, uh, actually, uh, uh, it's uh, a kinetic energy gain, but we check the. For, for, for this case, uh, actually, Canadian energy still uh, costs energy, but uh, it's uh, much less as compared to sigma t. So in other words, uh, it's still from J, right? Uh, so, so the origin, you know, basically this pairing, you have a lot of pairing, which will contribute to pairing, uh, the, the, uh, the pairing whole. So when you look at the uh, J term, the total energy gain, uh, will be negative, but for the uh, helping, which is still, uh, when you make pairing, the kinetic energy is slightly increase, but compared to sigma tj, of course, it's gain. So, so in other words, uh, when you make pairing, you make kinetic energy cost, but uh, with this uh, uh, string effect here, the cost will be much lower, so that total energy, uh, uh, the binding energy will be uh, gained. Can I maybe also ask, uh, in the previous slide, we have shown this localization of one hole. Uh, uh -huh. Can you tell me, did you calculate what is actually the uh, uh, local spin correlation close to the hole? Like, say, near neighbor correlation close to the oh. hole, away from the oh. hole. How oh, yeah. Uh, the, uh, uh, we calculated, uh, actually, this is consistent with the previous work. A lot of work I've done, right? Uh, let me see. Uh, so, uh, oh, I don't have, uh, uh, this is just an average one, I, I don't have, uh, one. but basically you, you do see the, uh, uh, there's a spin texture around the hole, which is similar to other uh, uh, previous, you know, DMR or ED calculation. But for example, uh, is, is there a tendency, for example, that, uh, Far away from the whole spin correlations nearest neighbor are, are purely antiferromagnetic, but close to the hole they become either antiferromagnetic by less or maybe even change sign and becomes ferromagnetic. Do you see? It's not ferro. Ferro, uh, yes, ferro would be in the limit. Uh, we we tune J very small, and then it become ferro. Um, but uh, uh, for reasonable P over J over three, uh, you do see. Uh, uh, they call stripe, right? Uh, they do see the face, uh, face change. This, uh, this uh, 
anti-phase, right, around the hole, uh, like uh, the two like ladder, four like, uh, like ladder. So that uh, uh, the uh, the uh, these, I here I only have. Uh, so uh, so so here, uh, this is the uh, uh, look at the current, and uh, you can also because double degeneracy, you can also uh, look at uh, the SZ. Uh, distribution and uh, that's uh, yeah that's uh, uh, it's uh, it's twisted, but uh, people don't uh, didn't know at that time whether this uh, just a poron effect with a dis uh, with a distortion of spin or it corresponds to the spin current. But here it shows that uh, really it's due to a spin current. Uh, as okay, I. Uh, is there any other question? Okay, if not, let's thank Zheng Yu again for a very nice talk. Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Xiaogang, uh, Patrick. Hi, <laughs> hello, Hello. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, very late there. <laughs> Uh, it's very late, yeah. Uh, uh, super late. Now. late. <laughs> Is there yeah, a review it's... that we can read? Do you recommend about your work? I'm sorry? Is there uh, a review that we can read? A summary. Oh, uh, <laughs> a uh, summary. Uh, I, I have, uh, uh, yeah, the, uh, uh, I think the wave function, uh, all these are okay. just follow up uh, a wave function paper I have uh, for the super conducting state. Uh, uh, it's right here. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Your Journal of Physics, uh, two thousand eleven. Mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, the one hole, two hole. We have uh, uh, several recent calculations. I will show you one hole actually. Uh, the latest uh, paper with the spin current and stuff. Yeah. Uh, I can send you a P uh, PDF file. Yeah. Yeah. The more recent uh, circular spin is more recent. Spin is oh, yeah, right. Right. Uh, that was not from the early recent. work, I think. Okay. Yeah, yeah it's related really to early work. So <laughs> I'll do that. Okay, very good. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, hopefully to we'll see you guys uh, in person next year. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe uh, next year. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like Okay. That. Yeah. See, hopefully it's okay. going to Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Bye bye. Nice uh, Take you a lot of time. <laughs> thank you. Uh, bye bye. Uh, everybody. Mm. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hui, thank you. Bye. Oh, thank you, Zhenyi. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you should go to sleep soon. <laughs> yeah, I'll yeah. go back. I'm staying in office, so I'm going back. Oh, yeah, in the office. Wow. Yeah, I'm, I was afraid of you know, the network is not good. I see, I see. You need to go home immediately. <laughs> yes. Okay, bye. Okay. Bye bye. bye, Take bye. Care. Thank uh, you. Thank you.